Hey guys, Layla here, and today I'm going to walk through what Cognito Forms is. And as you can see, Cognito Forms, and the name might imply, is a place to build forms. Forms that are slightly more sophisticated than you might see in something like Jot. Actually, no, Jot Forms is pretty sophisticated. Let's say Typeform, Google Forms, um, MailChimp, or built-in forms on different newsletter tools. Cognito Forms is a dedicated forms builder. It's built around form creation and it has a lot of really cool features. Now you'll see if I'm giving you giving it away here. I actually use Cognito Forms myself to use to create an opt-in that's actually a calculator. And it you know that it's a good forms tool where you can actually build a whole calculator out of it and people might may or may not realize. So I'm actually going to go to the preview here and we'll show you the end result first. So here is the form. You see, I got some stuff going on here. What makes Cognito Form so special is you have a little bit of mobility to have things appear or not appear based on answers. I think that's a really standout feature of Cognito Forms. So you'll see here, show working math. I can have different areas appear to explain things that are going on. I can also have it that um, right here, what you'll see is someone has to enter an email to get to the second part of the form. So we're going to put in my email. Hit me up if you need something. <laughs> And it takes you to the second page of the form, which is a really, again, nice feature. It's a little bit more sophisticated than you're seeing elsewhere. You can also customize to a great extent the aesthetics of the form, the font, the color, the sizing, the images. You can add a whole bunch of stuff into here to make this feel more polished. Um, I would, I will admit this is a little basic, but you get the idea. So here you can also have it do calculations. So I didn't put in any numbers on the last tab, but if I had, you'd be able to see that, let's just say they make $10,000 a year. Maybe I worked five hours a week, maybe I never work, hours of sleep, maybe I sleep a lot. So value of a working hour is really high because, oh, I put 100,000, there we go, 40, $40, sure. For this very part-time, I should do four hour work week, let's just say that, $50 an hour, but I'm only working four hours a week. So there we go, we've got that stuff in there, we've got value of working hour, we've got value of waking hour, um, not very valuable waking hours because I'm not working very much. And it's doing all this math for us based on the numbers we put in. That is a cognitive forms feature called calculations where I can literally put in Excel-like equations to calculate based on entries in one form or another. I think that's a really fun feature. Again, all this math, you can see it adding things as we go here. Um, I could put in numbers and it will do extra math based on when things are filled out. Here I have this question set to only appear if this is filled out, otherwise it's not there at all, which is nice. Um, another feature that's pretty standout about Cognito Forms is the repeating sections, which this is basically like where you can have someone fill out height and weight for each person that they want to add. They can add more and more and more and more participants to a um, certain area. I'm actually going to just go up here. We'll put this in here. Repeating section. I'm going to make it be participant. I'm just going to show you this live here. And anything I drag into here, we're going to just do name and then we're going to preview. Anything I drag into here is going to have the option to repeat, which is why it's called a repeating section. So I could have first and last name, then I could add another participant, another participant, another participant. I hope you can see already how this could be really helpful. You can basically create order forms out of this. You can create sign up forms. You can have applications where each person needs to apply separately. All of this using these repeating sections, which are built into the free plan of Cognito Forms. It's incredible. Um, we really love Cognito. It's a great tool. It also has a lot of integrations, which means the data from this form can be sent a lot of different places very easily. So using Z Zapier, I always say it wrong, Zapier, or maybe sent directly to some of your other tools like your constant contact or something like that, um, you can have information sent there, whether it's directly or through a tool like Zapier. Zapier, darn it. That's a hard one to say. Zapier, be better than me. Um, another cool feature, you scroll all the way down here. You can have links, that's cool. As you click on buttons, the button areas, which are the transition points between two pages or at the end, you can change the submit text. You can also change the, the link that happens. So you could have when someone clicks complete, they could get a, a message, an email, or a pop-up that says, thank you for submitting. Or they could be redirected to a different URL, sophisticated. They can also receive an email saying, um, here's your results, thank you. Or you can be notified saying, hey, someone submitted this form, as you can see it here. This person, you know, there we go. You can have all the stuff showing up, which is very, very cool for a, again, this is on the free features. The only penalty, quote unquote, you have for the free tools having a little advertisement at the bottom saying, 
this was created by Cognito Forms on the live tool, which is just like, who cares? <laughs> um, that said, I do have the paid tool because I just want to support the product and I think it's great. But um, yes, so over here, we, we were working in the build mode. And then we are over here in publish. Um, I have it set to a really cool style called chameleon, which basically means when I embed this onto a website, it, it, it makes sure that all of the fonts and everything match the website, which is why it looks ugly right now but it'll pull in whatever the information is on the actual website in order to make sure that all of my information looks consistent with the other text on the page. There are tons of other styles in here as well that you can make things look a little bit different. And I do think it looks, you know, it's nice. It gives you some nice versatility here, but I'm gonna go back to Chameleon and keep it there for me. The last thing you wanna check out is the entries, which are of course the entries. It's where the information goes. And I won't go there because I don't want you to see everyone's information. But that is how Cognito Form works. It's really easy to edit. I don't want you to be afraid to go ahead and if you have Cognito, start playing with it, start using it. Um, to change any of this, you just click and then all of your editing happens over here on the left. Showing the content is adjusted over here on the left. If you wanted to change the placeholder text, which is the gray text that kind of prompts someone for what to write, you can do that here. Or if you even wanted a default value, that if they didn't enter it, you wanted to just have it default to 40,000 or default to an actual number that they would then need to delete to put in, you can do that. Um, what else is a good feature? Oof, do I have any drop downs? Here we go, like this one. We'll do a bubble. Another fun feature built in again, all these options, but most importantly, you can have things pre checked. So maybe you just want to by default say, yes, I want to learn more about process driven. I don't do that, but you could. So you have a lot of really fun ways you also can do fill in to just really make a sophisticated form using Cognito. Like I said, it's my favorite form builder for a reason. It's got a very powerful free plan and I just think it's a really awesome tool. So thank you to the creators of Cognito. And if you are someone that's using it and you have a question that you'd like a tutorial for, let me know. They also have a great knowledge base. So if you are ever stuck and you wanna get more information, they've got a lot of good stuff over here.